what's up guys welcome back to another video today we are going to check the hog trap again we went to check it like six or seven times all throughout the week we didn't have nothing but they did have some babies and a big mama on camera that were showing interest in it but i'm pretty sure they could smell her scent so they kind of just hung around the sides stayed at the feeder did whatever they wanted to do and they kind of walked around it never went inside well one of them little baby went inside but then he ran out but we re baited with fresh corn and we left it out there for maybe another five nights i think it is and i'm pretty sure now that they're gonna be in there hopefully they're gonna be in there because you know it's a long drive just to go there and they have nothing in there with all the mosquitoes and stuff but the weather right now is sitting at like 60 degrees. No, it feels like 60 degrees. We got like a 10 mile an hour north wind blowing. I mean, it feels good. And hopefully the mosquitoes are down at bay. Who knows? But if we do have a hog, we're gonna catch it. We're gonna shoot it. And then we're gonna clean it. And I'm not gonna cook it, but I think if we do have a hog, I'm gonna make like a, a catch and clean video without the cooking part. Cause we usually just make them into sausage. I mean, if you wanna see us making, we make them into sausage. I can show you how to do that. Cause it's pretty fun and easy to do. But right now I'm grabbing life jackets. I'm about to get some gas in the boat. Um, yeah, that's it. Made it to the to the camp. We unloaded. About to go walk down there and check the trap. Hopefully they got a pig in there. You never know. Got the boys over here. Get in there and get one. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. There's the mama. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, saying look around first. Because once they start squealing, the mom's going to come back. The mom's smart, though. I know. Why she ain't in there. That's what I'm saying. I don't. That's what I'm saying. We got all three of them, too. Got us some babies, boy. Look at that. Putting in that work over there, boy. They know that's a weak corner. They are perfect size to eat, too, bro. 
You want to shoot the two big ones and I'll rest that small one? Which one you, which one you shoot? I want one of these small black ones. That brown one is kind of big. You think if I went in there, it attacked me? Yeah, look, you're trying to attack me. <laughs> yeah, shoot a brown one. Oh boy, he's close to getting out too. No shot. Like both his legs are out. Here we are, bro. Come on, do us a little baby. It's like 20 pounds. You come in here with me. Two people are distracting. Go, Connor. I'm cording. What the fuck? Dude, this don't get us YouTube famous. Oh, you might want to flip that thing now. Oh, look at his cheek. You might want to flip it so you can freaking jump out. That boy's scared for his life. What are you looking at, man? Flip it, dude. I gotta distract him. Hey, he's about to die, though. Yeah. But... Dude, that's why you need rope so you can lasso that thing, bro. <laughs> Don't make him come at me. Got him right there. The boy's stuck in there. The boy's stuck. Okay, got him right there. Yeah, boy. Dude, what you gonna do when you grab it? You got a plan? Yeah, you grab my back legs. You flip him over. Dude, he's gonna bite this shit. For real. You ain't got no rope to tie him with. For real, that's what I'm saying. Go scare him back this way. Let me shoot him. Jump on him, jump on him, jump on him, fuck it. Jump, jump on him, jump on him. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to get. They don't walk in here. Uh oh. I just took his head out. I'm getting. Look, he's scared, man. Get him. Grab him. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> now what? Now what? Pick him up. Now look, look, look. There you go, there you go. Grab him, cut. <laughs> Yo, grab his front leg. Keep my feet. I'm trying to let that thing bite you. They can't reach underneath them. You found them like this. I ain't got no rope. Oh, he's dead. Got me, boy. So we, we walked up from over there. We didn't see nothing in here, but they were all piled up. They were all piled up in this corner and they were just sitting there. We didn't even see them until we came up and they started running around. But there's three of them. Yeah, three nice last pigs. The mama wasn't in there, but I didn't even want her anyway. These are perfect for eating and carrying. <laughs> It would be a lot easier to carry. Oh, it finally paid off, bro. The thousand times we come out here every freaking week just to check it. These are the three that were hanging out in there. That's all I'm talking about. What you think about that, bro? Awesome. Yeah, bro. Some nice pigs. Nice thing to get them off the property. Yeah, I didn't think the trap was going to work. Why you didn't think it was gonna work? It worked last time for that big boar. Talking about like last last time, I didn't think it was gonna work for the big boy. It works good. It's simple too to make. It's cheap to make too. I mean, this wire right here probably costs. We got what four or five pounds, probably sixty dollars. <clears throat> T post. We already had those. Made this out of. Already, we already had wood too. And it's just, and it's just to hold. You tie your rope, you got a winch, not a winch, a pulley. You slide it up in between these boards. Put it over there on the ground, put some corn underneath it, and you put the stake flat. And they just go underneath it and they flip it up. Or they just knock it. They bump it, they knock it, it falls. And I mean, heck, we got all three of them. We didn't just get one or two, we got all three of them. Which is pretty impressive. But it's trapped. Cause usually it's just one makes it go off. Mm -hmm. That's done. You know? What you think about it, Connor? Hard work pays off. You got some inspiration to say, as always? 
No, not you today. got blood on your shirt, on yeah. your collar. You gotta rub it on your face, Ian. Take something, rub it on your face. Blood bath. Blood bath. And now we drag all the way back. This one's heavy. Oh, quite three, ni three nice pigs. We dragging them back right now. Trying to get them to the boat. But once we get them in the boat, we're going to head back home and hang them up and we're going to start skinning them. And I'm going to record skinning them, cleaning them, and we're going to show you, I mean, how we do it. I mean, it's, there's a lot of different ways to do it. But, you know, I found a way that's just easier for me to do. So that's how I do it. I mean, I'm going to show you all. You're not going to see. But yeah, glad we got three pigs. Because they did have a huge mama with them. But uh, the mom only came on a on a feeder, so I guess she kind of stayed back and let the babies go in. The babies actually set off the trap, which I'm surprised all three of them were in there when the trap went off. Because normally one goes in there and sets off the trap, and then the other three is still on the outside. But this time all three of them were in there, which is really good. And a perfect size, perfect skin and size, perfect eating size. And uh, yeah, so we're going to process them skin them put them in the ice just let them bleed out for a couple of days and then we'll turn them into sausage we make our own sausage hog sausage i mean it's pretty good we turn almost everything into sausage you cook it in your gravy everything so yeah i'll catch you only back at the house back at the house got the pigs hung up but you gotta clean them first cut you make is around the ankle you want to slice all the way around the ankles. Then you want to come down from the ankles, meet with each other, go straight down the belly. Slice around your ankles right here. Put your knife in through your cuts. Cut up to your line you made down. Then from there, you just start skinning. You know, skinning back to the skin. But then you want to skin back all the skin pull the skin back as you cut you can try to keep as much hair off of it as possible because you do have a lot of hair then you skin it back and yeah finally done cleaning for the day clean all three hogs clean up everything clean up the mess we didn't quarter them we left them left them whole and just put them in here and ice them down probably gonna ice them down for two days maybe and then uh take them out quarter them up well, not even quarter them up, just cut all the meat off, put it in a big bowl, bring it inside and start grinding and making them into sausage. But yeah, that's about it. I mean, if y'all want a video on making sausage, I can. I just need to let me know. But I don't think I'm gonna include that in today's video. I think it's already long enough. I'm gonna see if it's not long enough, I'll include that. But if not, if it is, then I won't include it. But as always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. I mean, we do all kind of weird stuff around here, you know. If you want to see me do anything, just leave a comment. Let me know. 
and I'll do my best to do it. I'll catch you on the next video later.